my name is Sarah McDonald, and I'm here sharing with you my first ever explanation process video. I wanted to start off with sharing a video of me throwing on the pottery wheel. Throwing on the wheel was always an intimidative process to me. It always seemed that I needed more skill than I already had in order to throw pottery vessels on the wheel. But attending Mecca really taught me that whatever I threw could turn into something else in a day or two. It didn't have to be so immediate, which is what I thought previous before learning that I can manipulate clay in multiple ways. Throwing helps me generate a form very quickly, very uniformly. It helps me get focused and meditate on my process of creating sculpture. I take it off the wheel, put it in my wet box overnight, let it stiffen up a little bit, so I can go home and sketch some ideas of what this pot might turn into. For this, I decided I was going to make a bear hybridized with a beehive, playing on the relationship of bees and bears. I had a lot of fun doing this sketch. I love coloring, which is always a part of my process helps me plan out what I'm going to do with the glazing or underglazing. I get pretty into it, you can see. I'm aggressively adding that orange in there. Having so much fun doing it. <laughs> I drew some bees because I knew I didn't want to render them realistically. I wanted to sculpt them in my style. So going back to these pots that were in my wet box overnight, I cut open the bottom of them and I add some coils for legs. And then I scratch the whole surface and smooth it out. I cut them in half and like this. So this is a pot cut in half so I can reach my hand in there and clean out areas so it's not so heavy. This is me testing out little bee beans and yeah, scratching the surface, smoothing the surface, just problem solving as I go, coiling, coil building is very helpful, and I reach a point where the sculpture is almost done, and I'm planning out where to put the drips of the beehive, the honey, honey dripping on the bear. And I sculpt the little drips and the honeycomb pattern. Smoothing it all out. Adding sage, which is white. It'll help the colors pop off the surface. Got some underglaze paint on there. This is in the pre-bisque state, and this is when it is bisked. This is right before I started spray glazing it. Before I spray glazed it, I waxed the beehive portion so that the beehive would be a dry surface and an unglazed, unshiny surface. Add some contrast in the piece. This is what it looks like with the glaze on it. You can see that, you can still see the color of the beehive, which is the wax keeping the glaze off of it. And then once it is final fired, this is how it came out. I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. <laughs>